Back to Vulcan Deckmasters, week three, day two. We're onwards to the last match of the day between Koof Dawn, a Finnish player, and Bunny Muffins. Um, you know, a high NA ladder player that we've seen qualify for a few events in the past. Do you know anything more about those players as far as their, uh, you know, maybe past performances? Um, well, I know that Bunny Muffins has been qualifying for a lot of events. He went to Gfinity. He's also doing his best to contribute to other, you know, he, he writes for Tempo Storm, for example, and uh, he works with a bunch of uh, the writers there. So uh, maybe Bunny can start picking up his results. I know that he was one of the lowest ranked players in the world because he kept qualifying for events and then losing the first round. And it's unfortunate that they keep tracking results only at the tournaments themselves. They don't track the eight to nine hours you have to play to slay all the qualifying nerds uh, to get to where you are. So it's a little bit harder for um, you to prove your name. But I think the um, they're, they're on a good path because I think six months from now, if they keep qualifying and doing well, they won't be surprised to see them keep calling fire events and they maybe get picked up by a big team. Well, like Sixo, I think, went through a lot of qualifiers in the past and that's kind of uh, what gave him the attention that he got and then got picked up by Archon. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's always possible that Bunny Muffin does get picked up. Uh, Lineup-wise, yeah. I mean, Kuvdan brought Warlock, Druid, Warrior. His Warrior's banned and we see Bunny Muffins with Hunter, Paladin, and Druid. So his Druid's out. So he's got Hunter Pally versus Warlock Druid. I've got to feel uh, like Bunny Muffins' lineup is a little more, uh, you know, tailored around his opponents. And it looks like, oh, Bunny Muffins with the Flare? I saw a Flare in that hand. Oh, was okay, it This flare? is a That's full face. Oh, man. Bunny Muffins is going for the face. What gave it away? The Leroy? No, it was the Flare. And then the Leroy, mm -hmm. and then I'm like, wait, what? Kuvdan's in the dark, he's gonna have to turn on the light, because I would get scared by that kind of opener. What's Ooh. really funny is that, um... Imagine if he just draws high main, they're like, no, it's not face, it's hybrid. <laughs> and you're like, well, yeah. you know, it doesn't, doesn't make me like you any more than I yeah. already don't. <laughs> like, good um, job, man, you've avoided me, you avoided the title. Yeah, still, you avoided getting so called, sure. uh... Oh wow, and he's actually playing Senjin. He scouted Bunny Muffins 100% here. Bunny Muffins is going up against the Wild Growth Key for the Grove opener, also known as Get Out There Aggro. Um, but he's yeah. still going to try to go punch face. I mean, that Leroy can go through a Drew the Claw, or at least, you know, kill it. <laughs> so Dude, Bunny it's, Muffins it's, is one salty kid, man. Just like, look at him. He always gets so upset whenever like his opponent has like, the exact combination that would just yeah, like shut him my, down. My, my opponent has cards, Baby Rage. Yeah, my opponent has cards. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, man. So, my Iron, Iron B. Cal. <laughs> that's probably like an old meme, right? That I, I just haven't caught up on. Oh, man. Yeah. Good stuff. It started with Forsen, I think, who said, My opponent has Keeper of the Grove or something. And then everybody started saying, uh, Or Crip, maybe. Like, my opponent had the exact cards. My opponent in the game. has cards. All right. Well, he doesn't have many cards. He holds on the weapon hit. Now that's interesting. What do you think yeah, about I that? Oh man, he saws the engine, and now the Belcher is gonna come down. Yeah. You know, if well, Bunny is it gonna come down now? Uh, I think it would. Yeah. I think he can get away with playing Emperor right now. He knows that his opponent is at least playing a more aggressive variant. Um, you know, he had the Glaive Zuka, so it naturally means that he wants to be a little bit more quicker. I think you can get away with playing Emperor right now. Yeah, wow, like, really? Just Wrath? Okay. Wrath and Innervate? Yeah. I was anticipating that he would hero power, like, Innervate, but I guess that makes sense, too. Okay, this is really defensive. He's, he's taking it so seriously and ends up being, like, the right call, too, coincidentally. No, Kuvdon's read on Bunny Muffins playing Face Hunter was spot on because Bunny Muffins has been playing very aggressive lists recently. Well, recently. Every single time I've seen him, basically. It's kind of interesting because these whelps will actually help the Unleash do something. Not that it's going to do much, but it's at least going to help. Um, but I don't think, like, if, if Kuvdon just goes for the self healing, just because, I almost feel like it's fine. Just because he can. Self-healing doesn't really accomplish too much. If you play Thorzen, 
you still have a 5-5 five five on the board, and you can still heal yourself later. Yeah. And it costs the same amount of mana, actually, because Ancient Lord will be 6. Mm-hmm. So Thorison here makes sense. The reason why I think I like Thorison a little bit better, too, is that it was better for damage. And, um... More than that, and Thorson's kind of like super taunt, especially if you're at like 20s health. You know, can Hunter really afford to let you keep that twice onto the board? Yeah, and if they do, which they too. often do, you get so much advantage by doing that. Oh man, if Bunny Muffin picks up the uh, Leoc, it is a Leoc indeed. That is eight damage, 10, 10 damage to the face. Yeah, and uh, the thing is, Kuvdon doesn't have the swipe to clean this up yet. Of course, it's you know one what wrath cycle away sometimes from happening. I mean, it doesn't really need to swipe that much, as much as he really just needs to start trading away his stuff. Oh wow! Oh my God! The sodium extract. Yeah, there's oh gonna be a lot of sodium coming up. Lord. I kind of feel bad for Bunny Muffins. I mean, he did he did oh. you know work a lot for those qualifier wait, spots. Wait, the BM, the BM. He just wrathed his own whelp. Wait, did I see that? What did I see? He wrathed the whelp so that way he could do it. Look, oh, buddy, was like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, he has a swipe. <laughs> and he's got 10 damage this turn. But more importantly, <laughs> is he just dead if he doesn't do anything? Uh, No, I think he's still alive this turn, right? One damage off, right? Yeah, he's one off lethal at the moment, but Kuvdon is, you know, probably gonna find something with either Wild Growth or the top deck. Oh, wow, oh, the edge! <laughs> oh, this is gonna Bunny be the most Muffins. disheartening card. Oh, You've Kuvdon. been downloaded. He's just like, he, he's got him prepared for this match. There's no way. It's like, I know your deck list, by the way. Like, I, I know and everything you're gonna play from now on, ever. Yep. Um, but the thing is, it's a good thing Kuvdon queued with this right away, because he might have given him another, like, given Bunny Muffins another win with another deck, like a deck that could have beaten this, you know, highly teched out Druid. Mm -hmm. So it turned out pretty good, but it might have not for the first deck. Also, really funny is that uh, Bunny Muffins drew Explosive Trap when he had Mad <laughs> Scientist in it. Just want to just want to point it out there. Yeah, and it's just uh, you know to rub uh, salt yeah, in the wound. Exactly, right? it's like. The one thing where you're like, I wish I didn't see, I wish I didn't see that card. You know what's, we you know what's really interesting to me, Noxious? Mm. Blizzard one time asked me, like, what's a feature that we could implement easily that uh, wouldn't be like new content? It's like something like quality of life introduction. And I said, yeah. one of the things that I really liked is if the game ends, you have the option to see like the next five, five cards you would have drawn. Yeah, just, this... just, just because, like, completely randomized, of course, it could have. It could be lying to you, but just just like it would satisfy so many more people who are salty because it's like, okay, I played correctly. And Bun Bunny Muffins is tilting, man. He's like, you know what? <laughs> How did I get figured out so easily? How does he know everything I play? And the reason is, you've been playing the same stuff, man. <laughs> I, I think Kuvdan just really scouted heavily what type of decks Bunny Muffins run, and nothing that Bunny Muffins does here is really going to surprise Kuvdan. He knows what's coming. Yeah. Oh, and the double, the double heal bot. I mean, it, it's still not over, but Bunny Muffin's hand isn't exactly what you're looking for when you're playing Agro Pally. Um, mm, his hand looks more, more. I like Bunny Muffin's uh, the play here with the coin Arjun like uh, Arjun Protector because Blessing of Kings is then enabled, and without Owls, this could really become a problem for Kuvdon. Sounds benign, but this doesn't take long to add up to a lot of damage. Moved on with the tap. If you don't sub, this is gone. Yeah. And that could be the beginning of a comeback here. Remember, this deck is very good against Handlock, generally speaking. Yeah, then again, uh, the Hellfire is going to clean this up. And Bunny Muffin is going to have to rely on a uh, South Sea Deckhand with Blessing of Might and Coghammer to really swing back in the game. Which again is not impossible. But he's getting somewhat low on health. He's got to get a good molten turn with an anti heal bot. This game is moving a million miles per hour. Oh my yeah. goodness. 
They're really on auto, like, those decks are almost autopilotable against each other. Like, there's only handlock really comes down to really crucial and difficult decisions. Um, but even that is not, you know, the most common occurrence. So, Bunny Muffin's giving his opponent the opportunity to play the Molten, but there is no Sun Fury right now. So, how does he play this? He can't just uh, play the Emperor. He's got to either heal bot or play the Drake. Right? Right. Is he dead by doing this, though? There's six damage onto the yeah. board and 13. There yeah, is. that's, that's dangerous. I, that, that was really... I think Kuvdon, knowing what type of deck his opponent was playing, should have played for the heal bot. Because um, even if he got damaged further, he could have still gotten a second heal bot with a Molten. And that might have been enough, but... Bunny Muffins will at least be able to take one game from his opponent, and now he's going to have to play his Face Hunter again against Kuvdon's Handlock. And, and this is... It's actually better to play the Hunter deck in a position like this, I think. Well, we'll see. Um, this is a series that matters a lot because they're both 1 and 2. So the winner right. goes 2-2 two to two and the loser goes 1-3. So it's basically elimination match. Uh, survive and live to play another day. Yeah. So, you know, Bunny Muffins looks like he was a little, you know, thrown off by the early game start, but don't worry. Handlock usually gives you time because they, they end up passing by hero powering. And Bunny so, Muffins with the... Oh, mm -hmm. there's an Ooze in Kuvdan's list. Okay, this guy really is targeting Bunny Muffins. So hard. Like, we already knew it, but now it's like 10 times more obvious. Yes, and he has a Molten Giant in hand, which is really useful. Against Face Hunter, uh, their damage is just through charges usually and a couple of burn cards. Oh man. Double Molten. The moment he finds a defend of Argus, um, if Bunny Muffins doesn't have Hunter's Marks in his deck, right? And two of them. That's an, yeah. That's an if though. Yeah, it's a big if. It's a big if. Like, do you do you just keep tapping and then keep letting this leper gnome do more damage to you? Until he can get the Molten as soon as possible. Oh, Mad Scientist. That's great. Yeah, he can curve in two two-drops next turn oh, off the, the coin or play the bow. He's got, he's got options. He's got the options. Logic here is that Mad Scientist needs to weed out the secret and also does two damage per turn compared to the Haunted Creeper does only one. Yeah. Uh, Iron Beak's coming down instead of tapping here. He knows he doesn't really need the Drake to be at like 17 health. Like all he needs is really just to have a body on the board that's going to be able to take care of those smaller minions. It's not a bad card for Kuvdon to pick up. He's going to deny the secret, which usually you don't really trigger. When it's face hunter, it's explosive trap, you rarely end up triggering it until very late. So... Hmm. Well, this is 7 damage, putting him out to 19. And you don't really have any ways to really continue to push. Oh, he goes for the tr the pig off on the owl. Okay, so nah. he's hoping these minions will do more. Okay, so watch Bunny Muffin's face when the ooze is played. Does the ooze get played? What about I, the? I don't, I don't know if it does, but uh oh, okay. it is Damn, the face. He is so fearless. He's tapping. He tapped twice against Face Hunter. That is that is ambitious to say the oh, least. Yeah. Well, if really you have two ambitious. Moltens and a Sun Fury, right? I mean, I would be fearless as well, wouldn't you? Maybe I'm just uh, too confident. In, uh... You're very brave. I mean, you can play double. Uh, you can play like one Molten here already. I think. Like you're close to with a Leper Gnome, you can actually play at least one. Right. So you're he's not got, quite. Yeah, dead he's got Yobot too. Yeah. I really like the position that Kuvdon's in, because um, he's going to make it through this turn. Uh, yeah, that's true. The, the the Molten Giant hitting is so big. But here's also another problem. He can't taunt and yeah. heal at the same time. So he's got to go for like Molten Healbot and then taunt on the following turn, giving his opponent the ability to yeah, reach okay. for a bit more damage with the Unleash, for instance. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Okay, do as you will. <laughs> he needs to in order to set up a lethal for next turn. I yeah, think. yeah, he's got to, to set up the kill for the following turn. It's actually the only way he's going to be able to do it. And Bunny Muffins is going to make a prayer, but it won't get answered unless double unleash. 
pulls it off? No, I don't think it does. It's six, nine, eleven damage. He's one damage off lethal. For one mana. Oh, no, no, Get no, no, no. He doesn't want. have enough mana here. No, he, he would need, uh, yeah, that's right. He's actually, he needs uh, three damage. Oh, uh, so he has to kill off the giant then, right? With double unleash. From his perspective, does he have to kill the giant or just a 3 Oh, he doesn't do you kill think? the giant. Yeah, from his perspective, I don't know. There's so many ways to do damage, though. Yeah. I guess he's saying that he'd lose too much if I doing this. But Koofdon got Bunny Muffins red. Oh, God. <laughs> Ooze it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, my. Yeah. God. All right. So beautiful. <laughs> and the full on BM service with the Sun Fury and the Dark Bomb at the very end. They're going to take it up 2 1 over Bunny Muffins. Oh, man. That's what we call a tech out line up. This is just insane. You know, um, you kind of have to imagine that if he didn't ooze the first um, weapon, he would have actually been able to kill him, right? No, that's yeah, not. Yeah, it's three damage. Maybe he would have been able to play um, another Molten. You never know. Like, if he got that extra damage in, it enables the Moltens that much quicker, and then maybe he takes too much damage. But let's just say for the storyline... There was six damage left on the Warlock. He had three go into the heal bot, and he got one weapon oozed. So hypothetically right. speaking, it, and, it and could. Fact, yeah. He should have he won. Yeah. So there it is. Bunny Muffins, man. He couldn't believe it until the very end. There just could not believe what was happening to him. But Kuvdon, really, you know, this is the strength of a Conquest format. Um, you can scout people and target specific decks. I mean, if, even if Bunny Muffins only had one aggressive deck, if... Kuvdon built an entirely anti-hunter deck, let's say, um, or an entire lineup. That would have been enough. Like, he doesn't need to beat two aggro decks, just the one. And then Bunny Muffins can't go through that crucible of two anti-aggro decks. And uh, the Conquest format would have gone to Kuvdon. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I mean, that we're done. Five matches today. Yep. Noxious. Those blew by. Crazy. I mean, yeah. the, those last matches were a bit faster than I expected um, the, with the, between the two players, Kuvdan and Bunny Muffins. But that's it, guys, for the day. We'll be back on Friday. Uh, if there's tiebreakers, we'll give you updates as to whether or not there will be matches. Again, uh, this will be determined today. We'll tally up all the scores from the group stage and see if we need to play some tiebreakers. If so, you will know and we'll be back on Friday. Otherwise... Next week is playoffs week, which is the big week for all the players who did go through the group stage. So that's going to be pretty cool. Again, before we leave, a little shout out to Squarespace.com for sponsoring everything. If you don't know what that is, it's a website where you can build your own website. Not very expensive. It looks super professional and it's very easy to use. So if you're looking to do that, head over there. Use the code DECKMASTERS to get yourself a bit of a discount. And uh, they'll be happy to uh, get your website going. On this note, we'll see you guys next week. Have a nice one.